Good day everyone and welcome back to the Nerdcave. In this tutorial we will look at how to connect the popular 16x2 character I squared LCD to the Pico using CircuitPython. I received a question two weeks ago regarding the Pico macro keyboard project and the question was if it is possible to add an LCD and display the text along with the macro being executed. For example to display copy if a macro was control plus C and that is what we will look at today. We will use four push buttons for the demonstration and if we press the button depending on a macro it will be displayed on the LCD. Here is a simple example. So when we press button one in which the macro is written to open VLC, we will make sure the LCD is clear first and write open VLC and then execute the macro. And then we can just update every button to display what it does. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need the following components. The Raspberry Pi Pico with header soldered on. You need to make sure that you have Silicon Python flashed on your Pico. If you are new to the Pico, watch my getting started video. You will need four push buttons and then the I2C LCD display. In this video, we are using the I2C display that has the PCF8574 remote 8-bit IO expander for I2C communication. And then finally, you'll need a few wires and female to male jumper wires to make all the necessary connections. Here is the schematic diagram for this example we will look at. You can use any GPIO pins to connect the buttons which we will use for input. And for the I2C, we will use I2C0 using GP0 and 1. Make all the necessary connections as indicated. All the code and libraries is available in my GitHub repository, link given in the description. Open the folder I2C 16x2 LCD circuit python. Save all the files to your computer and unzip the file called clip. Now open Fonny. Click on view and files, then navigate to the directory where you have saved all the files and upload them to the Pico. Open the main.py file and let's look at the code together. In this block of code, we import all the libraries for a simple example. If you want more detail on each library, make sure to subscribe as I will cover this in full detail on a Raspberry Pi Pico course I am planning. Next we set up the consumer control. And we also set up the Pico as a keyboard device or a human interface device. And in the last line, we set the Pico up to write strings from our macros. We then initialize our I2 squared communication and write our I2 C address. To find your address, open the I2 C scan Python script and run this. This will give you your address that you can fill in here, which will be a hexadecimal number. In this block of code, we set up our I2 C communication to communicate with the PCF8574IC and initialize our LCD. And special thanks to everyone that has wrote these libraries. Then we can set up our buttons as an input and make them pull down to keep the logic level low. Do this for the other three remaining buttons. And then finally, we can create an endless loop to loop through a button press. And if the button logic goes too high, we will clear the screen, print to the screen what the macro does and then send the key codes. If you want to know more about these key codes being used, go watch my DIY macro pad video where I explain these key codes in more details. And that is how you can use the LCD in CircuitPython. For the different functions of the LCD library like moving the cursor, I will cover this fully in the upcoming course. If there is any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.